Hey there, welcome to the Animator YouTube channel. Now, in the previous lesson, we have learned the basics of Adobe Illustrator and in this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a flat style character from scratch all by using simple geometric shapes. So, let's start. Now, let's start our illustration with the head of the character. For that, I am taking the rounded rectangle tool. So, this will be the face of our character. Let's change the color to some skin color. Okay, now let's create the hair of the character. Same for the hair shape as well. Now I will just change this color to some lighter version of it. Now I will just select this and arrange bring it front something like this okay all right now let's create the ear of the character with the help of this same rounded rectangle i will pick this color with the help of this eye picker tool the shortcut key is i now i will copy and paste the shame shape again Ctrl C and Ctrl Shift V to paste the shim shape at the same place. Let's group the whole thing. Now I will copy and all or else you can simply press Alt and drag to duplicate the shape. And after that I will reflect it from transform reflect and reflect vertically. All right. Now I will select both of this and bring it front. All right. Now let's create the ear of the eye of the character. For the eyebrow, I am taking rounded rectangle again, and I will pick this hair color. I will select this and this and align horizontally and group it. Slightly scale it down. After that, okay, let's move these ears slightly below, like this. Yeah, and I will simply duplicate it and go to transform and reflect, reflect vertically, like this. All right. After that, let's create a beard over here with the help of same rounded rectangle tool. First of all, select. Both of these group it, select this, this group it, then select the hair with the including the face and group it again and select everything align. All right, so let's move this layer above, and after that, for the nose, I am using rounded rectangle again. And pick this color again, select everything and just align. Let's, let's increase the thickness slightly like this. And now let's move on with creating the mouth of the character. For that, I will use rounded rectangle again and create a rectangle like this. Round up this lower portion and Slightly round up the upper portion as well, like this. Alright, now I will change the color. Okay, now the stroke as well. For the stroke, I will pick this color. So let's copy the color code and I will paste it over here. All right now okay let's close this panel we don't need it anymore and let's open the strokes panel because we need this one for now let's show more options after that let's increase the width and just select on this what it will do is as you increase the stroke you can see that in normal case the stroke will come inside and go outside 
at the same rate with same width but here there are options that you can select to change that this one is to if you want the stroke only inside of this shape path like this and this one is if you want it outside the shape path now i need it outside the shape path so i will select this one okay now let's make the teeth of the character for that again i am using rounded rectangle tool let's select some white color like this slightly rounded up and again let's align it all right let's duplicate it and rotate it like this and put it over here and let's take rounded rectangle again and i will give it a red color something like this oh, yeah all right now i will select whole all the shapes of the mouth and with the help of shape builder tool i will cancel out these extra shapes now the shortcut key for shape builder tool is shift plus m and to cancel out the shape press alt and drag the portion you want to cancel out like this okay now after that let's select only the mouth of the character and group it okay after that i will select everything and align properly like this okay with this the our head of the character is complete so let's group the whole thing now let's create the body of the character with the help of rounded rectangle tool first of all create the neck now for the body we are going to take rectangle but we will not round it fully okay let's select a color some attractive one now for the legs we are going to take rectangle again one single rectangle for each leg I will slightly rotate the leg slightly not much and I will place it over here just go to arrange and send it back all right and for the foot I will take again rectangle and I will make a semicircle with it let's change the color of the shoe let's group the whole thing and duplicate it all right now i will group everything and this one as well and align it with the center let's arrange and send it back all right only the hands of the character is left so first of all i will take rounded rectangle make the arm of the character pick this color and let's round up this let's add an ellipse over here and i will give a lighter shade of a character to it like this now if you face some problem in choosing color from here darkness or the brightness of the character you can also come over here fill and select this one and just change this to sp uh, hsb and after that you can increase the brightness of the character from here even increase the saturation of the character from here i mean the color from here all right you can do it from here as well but i will change it for now this color is perfect for now 
okay now it's time for the forearm for that i will pick this color and now it's for the hands let's scale it down slightly not much yeah it's perfect all right and the last one is the rectangle i mean it's almost a square i mean circle with the help of square you can also put a circle over here like this whatever you like and i will group the whole thing and put it over here like this okay so let's select it and first of all put it over here like this and let's select to go to its isolation mode i will rotate it from here like this all right all right so i will just duplicate it for the other side reflect like this okay all right so i will slightly round it up let's see how it ends up looking the previous one is perfect all right so with this our character is done so a final thing is left let's add up a shadow with the help of rounded rectangle tool like this okay for that let's pick some light gray color let's darken it up a bit perfect all right so with this our character is done hope you like this video and understood how i made the character and also try it on your own and let's let me know in the comment down below how it turned out so if you like the video then hit that like button if you have any doubt make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye